Hello, welcome back to Hello. our English language lesson. Uh, hoping that you are ready to start. Yes. Thank you. So I would like to first uh, ask uh, Zoe if you have any song you know we can sing as we start our lesson. We can learn from you a song. Any song you know? Okay, uh, she, she still thinks through. Joycelyn, any song you know we can learn today from you? <laughs> yes. Yes. J O Y J O Y, surely that means Jesus first, you are self last, and all others between. Thank you. Uh, you can put your camera straight. It's slanting. It's uh, showing you slanted. Okay. Thank you for the song. As we, yeah, that's okay now. Uh, as we start our lesson today, uh, today we are going to uh, learn uh, language with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, strand of language structure and functions. So kindly take your books so that you can write what I'm writing on the whiteboard so that, um, uh, okay, Zoe is saying you don't have any, don't worry. I'll teach you many more from tomorrow. And you know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of songs uh, from tomorrow. So uh, let us, Right, the day of today, day, uh, we are, uh, which day is today? Wednesday, October 27th, 2021. Thank you. So the, the D is silent. When you read, you read Wednesday. You don't, you don't uh, pronounce the D. So don't say Wednesday. You read it like, Wednesday, Wednesday. So D is silent. A letter that you don't write, you, you write, but you don't uh, speak, it is called a silent letter. Okay. Uh, the date of today is 27th of October. You should be writing in your books, 2021. And uh, I heard it. Was I've already read that date. You and then the the the, the I subject. already did. Thank you very much. Uh, the subject. Uh, the subject uh, is English language. From English language, uh, the strand of today. Uh, the strand. Uh, the strand is uh, language structures and functions. Functions. And the substrand. Substrand is a preposition of place. Positions of place, prepositions of place. Uh, our lesson started on the time. Uh, time is a uh, ten or five. Teacher, boss, you're breaking. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, my internet may be low. Are you able to hear me now? Hello, are you able to hear? Yes. Thank you.
Very good. So reaching this point, uh, we are all aware of what we are going to learn. Uh, we are going to learn on preposition of place. And uh, this is uh, where we should start. And I'm going to repeat the learning. Uh, we are going, I'm going to repeat uh, the learning um, guidelines, uh, the study guidelines we should follow today uh, and any other lesson. Uh, the first one is anytime you would like to speak, kindly raise up your hand so that we can know you are speaking. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for internet challenges. I'm hoping you, okay. can, you can hear me now. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you raise up your hand when you want to speak. Uh, number two, uh, always put your video on so that maybe we do not learn and somebody is uh, on the ice. Um, tell what was the substrand? Prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, prepositions of place. And then Pardon? prepositions of place. Could you write it on the blackboard? Whiteboard. It is a whiteboard. Preposition of place. That is the sub strand of today. Substrand uh, preposition of place. I'm done. Thank you. Now, what do we mean by the word preposition of place? Uh, who can try? Just trying, even if it's wrong, right? It's okay. We are learning. Preposition is um it's a position yes yes of a place okay position of a place yes you're right it's only that I'll, I'll add you some more words so that you get it correctly look at the whiteboard um if somebody asks you what is a preposition of place you should say a preposition of place is a word that talks about the position and location and location of an object. Yes, I'm I mean a preposition of place, a preposition of place is a word that talks about the position and location of an object, a person, an animal, or things. A preposition of place. Don't rub the body. A preposition of place is a word that talks about the position. That's why Joycelyn is right, because she said about position. So it is a word that talks about position and location. When we talk about position and location. And what is this that we are saying on their position and location, there are three things. Or four, position of an object, position of a person, position of an animal, or position of things. Before we proceed, I'm seeing a hand from Jocelyn. What would you say? I am done. Thank you. 
good work. So a position, a preposition is a word that talks about position and location of an object, a person, an animal, or things. Because Joycelyn has finished, kindly unmute yourself and read the meaning of the word pre of preposition according to what I've written on the whiteboard. Yes. A preposition, a preposition of place is a word that talks about the position and location of an object or a person, an animal or things. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for reading it clearly. Let's go to Zoe. Uh, so read the meaning of the word of preposition of place, preposition of place. A preposition of place is a word that talks about the position and location of an object, a person, an animal, or things. Very good. Thank you. Uh, I hope everyone have written everything on the whiteboard because we have to move to the next stage. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at, let's look at uh, some of the examples of preposition of place. Uh, they are here. Positions of place. Yes, yes, they are here now. Okay. I'm not seeing so. Maybe your network is a little bit low, but uh, kindly adjust. I'm not seeing you. I'm seeing black. Okay, now you are okay. Now you are okay. Okay. So all of us put your pens on the table or in the books and clothes and look at it because after this, obviously I'll ask you some questions. <laughs> Basic prepositions of place in English. Behind. Behind. In front of. In front of. Next to. Next to. Between. Between. Near, near, above, above, below, below, in, in, on, on. The ball is behind the box. The ball is in front of the box. The ball is next to the box. The ball is between the boxes. The ball is near the box. The ball is above the box. The ball is below the box. The ball is in the box. The ball is on the box. Behind, in front of, next to, between, near, above, below, in, on. The dogs are 
behind the postman. The dogs are behind the postman. The dog is in front of the man. The dog is in front of the man. The dog is next to the bones. The dog is next to the bones. The dog is beside the bones. The dog is beside the bones. The bone is between the two dogs. The bone is between the two dogs. The dog is near the book. The dog is near the book. The dog is close to the book. The dog is close to the book. The blue dog is above the fire hydrant. The blue dog is above the fire hydrant. The blue dog is over the fire hydrant. The blue dog is over the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant is below the blue dog. The fire hydrant is below the blue dog. The fire hydrant is under the blue dog. The fire hydrant is under the blue dog. The yellow dog is next to the fire hydrant. The yellow dog is next to the fire hydrant. Okay, uh, before we proceed, I'm seeing Zoe, we are not together. Kindly leave everything down because I'm yet to ask you a few questions after this. Kindly don't have anything on your hands. I'm seeing each one of you. Are we together? Okay, okay, thank yeah. you. Let's proceed. The dog is in the bed. The dog is in the bed. There is a thermometer in the dog's mouth. There is a thermometer in the dog's mouth. The dog is on the table. The dog is on the table. The woman has dog saliva on her. The woman has dog saliva on her. I hope you found this English lesson about prepositions of place useful. If you did. Okay. So um, we have learned different prepositions of place, and uh, hopefully, you are able to see them. And uh, I will start with Joycelyn. Uh, kindly read the ones on the left, prepositions of place, the ones with the ball and a yellow box. Preposition of place. The ball is behind the box. The ball is in front of the box. The ball is next to the box. The ball is between the boxes. The ball is near the box. The ball is above the box. 
The dog, the ball is below the box. The ball is in the box. The ball is on the box. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that is very good of you. Well done. So, uh, read through as she has done. Let us start with the left part of the uh, picture, which has a ball and the yellow box. It's your turn. Kindly unmute yourself. The ball is behind the box. The ball is in front of the box. The ball is next to the box. The ball is between the box. The ball is near the box. The ball is above the box. The, the ball is below the box. The ball is in the box. The ball is on top of the box. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us go back to Joyce Lynn. Look at the prepositions of place on the right. On the right. Then read the sentences written. Although they are small, I believe you are able to see them. Uh, read them uh, loudly. I am. Preposition of place. The dog The dogs the dog are behind the policeman. Behind the postman. The postman. Yes, the postman. The, the dogs the dog is in front of the man. The dog is next to the bones. The dog is beside the bones. The bone is between the two dogs. The dog is near the book. The dog is close to the book. The blue, the blue dog is above the fire hydrant. The blue dog is over the fire hydrant. The, the fire hydrant is below the blue dog. The fire agent is beside the blue dog. The dog is in the bed. There is a thermometer in its mouth. The, the dog on the 